I am going to hit the road right now and go out to buy myself a wood burning furnace. So it's a wood burning furnace, not a stove. So this actually blows air from the, like a furnace does, but instead of using, um, oh, hero, don't. He always does that. Now I gotta worry about him uh, running over his leash. Oh, he's all good. It's a wood burning furnace. Uh, I'm gonna try it out and hope for the best. I don't know how this little experiment is gonna go, um, but I want to basically put set this up outside of the house and have some duct work going into the into the basement. Um, the cold air going into the basement and having um, the other vents going into the living room. So that's the idea. Um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I have pretty much everything I need to build this thing. So basically what I'm going to do is just put it on a pallet and encase it with like inside of a little shed. That's the other thing about wood burning. This idea is that I'm just going to be constantly feeding this furnace with wood. So I'll have to be going outside all the time to feed it probably every hour or more. And uh, it's just, uh, but I only want this for the really, really cold days. You know, like last year, the December was had some super, super cold days. We had a, a pipe freeze and everything. So I'm only really going to use it for those really cold days. Um, everything else, we have a, wood, uh, a stove upstairs and our propane furnace. It's worth a shot, I think. I'm just tired of being cold all winter. Every winter, we're just freezing our butts off. It's just not this propane furnace first of all it just doesn't get the house warm enough so it just constantly runs non-stop and uh, the other thing is that propane is very expensive so we end up just freezing this is my new project that i just brought home it's a wood burning furnace uh, we put it in the back of the truck with his tractor loader we use these poles to kind of slide it back in there this thing i think is even heavier for, than my for my lift to handle this thing is rated at 500 pounds. I'm thinking this thing is over 500. Yeah, so I might have a problem here. But I'll figure something out, because I always do, right? Oh my God, you guys, I don't know what I'm doing. Rolling. Grab the other roll. I'm gonna put it back up. I'm gonna grab the other roller, put it right here. Oh jeez. <sighs> Alright, this is the setup now. Let's see how it works. Three point oh, and I think this is better. Got supported with the. It's probably going to spring once it hits that. Never mind. Put some wood blocks right there, so that you know when I, when the furnace hits the wood here, it's not going to spring back like that. So here we go. lost it I got up the truck Woo! I have it down it wasn't pretty though but it is down no extra damage except for a little bent piece right there it's not a big deal a lot bigger than I thought maybe this is a bigger model or something I'll show you where it's gonna go it's gonna ride around this area this is the, a project that was scrapped a while ago. I'm not going to do that anymore. I was going to boil like water and have like a coil 
copper coil inside and then just have a fire pit underneath there and would heat up water and it gets pumped into the house. Uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna do that anymore. Wife was concerned about this being really close to the house. I'm not concerned at all. Once you get this thing fired up, you can touch this without it being hot at all. It's basically just an enclosed fire. I guess the only thing you kind of have to worry about is sparks coming out the, the, out the chimney stack. Um, but it's completely enclosed. I'm not worried. The air intake, there's a, these plenums and I'm going to have it where so this is a fresh air plenum when I put a boot on there on that side and it will go down across and in that'll be the fresh fresh air in and then for this side I'm just going to have a vent go directly to the window Blow nice hot air inside the house. It's gonna be nice. So a little update video now. I can't quite remember where I left off on the progress I've made, but I have put on these two plenums here and I did a whole bunch of patchwork on them to close up some of the vents. And I've been burning uh, just some scraps I've had it's kicking around. It's giving off some nice heat. Everything's going well. There's a little damper there. I'll just keep that open all the controls are working here um, that's the main that is the fire uh, the fan switch so it kicks on actually it just turned off right now yeah because I guess it's cooling down quite a bit now but I did have it going all day well not all day but the last little while and it's working fine yeah it's going right now and so I just have to kind of seal this stuff up. So I've been looking online and I'm going to buy some uh, some mastic, it's called. And it's just like a paste that you can put over all the gaps, you know, all the corners here. So I'm just going to seal it up as best I can. Uh, but I don't know, you can't buy this stuff at any hardware store. So I'm going to go on Amazon. They can buy a one liter tub for about $16. So I'm going to buy some of that and just paint it all with, uh, seal up all these gaps and everything. So, uh, but I did get these boots from my shop. I didn't have to spend any money buying these. Uh, they're 8 inch, but I do have to buy some actual, uh, some tubing, some actual ducts. Because right now it's about, I'll probably need a couple of lengths to go that way. And then maybe three of them to go into the into the basement for the cold air the chimney wasn't it was a little bit challenging just because it's so high I've had these for a long time and I think I got them at an auction a while back because I wanted to bake the new chimney for the house but I never ended up using them so I have quite a few sitting around this one has a plug on it uh, I did take the blower fan out and I oiled it and I cleaned it all off. I scrubbed it down, took all the dust off. Uh, it's a bit challenging getting this door on and off with the chimney being so close right there. Um, like you can't really use this to secure it, so I just screwed it back on. Um, there's no filter in there, so I'll have to put a filter, you know, on the pipe in the basement. You know, start cleaning up this place. I got lots of bush here that I can harvest from. A lot of standing dead ash that I'm going to chop down, so I'll never have any worries getting the wood. I just want to make sure that I'm going to have enough wood for the winter. My shed here, see I'm just going to start, you know, sawing up some old wood. And I have a little bit in here, maybe a, a cord, maybe one cord of wood. I do have all this old heart, like underneath here is some old uh, hardwood flooring that I bought a long time ago. It was used. Um, but yeah, I used a lot of it in the kitchen, but I have a lot left over and I'll probably never use that. So 
Uh, there's actually two different types of hardwood, two different sizes. So when you go to put it down, it's a real big pain. Um, so I'm probably just gonna chop that up and burn it because never gonna use it again. This is gonna be fun, guys. Gonna save a lot of money. Gonna be nice and warm this winter too. And I just have to get cleaned up a little bit, clean up my tools. Um, I'm gonna use that, some of this uh, rigid foam that I took out of my house. And I think I'm just going to encase the plenum um, once after I get it all sealed up with a mastic, I'm just going to encase it, make a little, uh, try insulate it best I can. And then once I get that done, I'm going to build a little roof. Just get some of these, get some blocks, two by fours and build just a little shelter just to keep the snow off of it. Fire's all right. going well. Sorry? Fire's going well. Fire's going well. We just got it lit. Yep. Ah, uh, well, still it's just twigs right now. Get some good embers going. Put this guy on. Oh. All right. Well, Spencer's doing that. I'll show you guys my my venting here. These are eight-inch pipes. Just two elbows. One there. One there. It's pretty dark out right now. Hopefully, you guys can see stuff. But this is an uh, 8 inch pipe, and that is uh, the 30, centi 30 inches long as opposed to the, the full 60 because these are $10 at Home Depot, and the 60s are about $35. So I bought, uh, I bought a few of those. I have two to return to the store. And for the cold air, I decided to try out this uh, vinyl duct. It was $20 and it's just plastic vinyl. So, um, try it out. There it is uh, going into the house. In the basement there, I was I just had to chisel a little bit, but in the basement there is um, another elbow. So it's like an elbow like that. So you don't have cold air pouring onto the floor when it's turned off. And as for up here, the window, I just put a piece across there. This isn't screwed on anyway, but uh, I used a, a couple shims right there to just wedge it really hard up against the window. And this is screwed on on the inside. I just bent a, a piece of tin back and I screwed it on. So that's how that's going right now. It's not going anywhere. And uh, well, it's not definitely not done. I put these logs on now, hon. Okay. Get some more stuff on there. It's starting to go out a little bit. Yeah, put that on. Definitely not done yet, but our first test fire with actual heat going into the house. Is it out? Yep. Uh-oh, it's more twigs. <laughs> <laughs> Fail. So you guys saw that night uh, I fired this up. Spencer and I fired this up outside. And in blast it's just blasted in a whole bunch of hot air in there it was great um, the thermostat actually went up to 28 degrees celsius i don't know what that's in fahrenheit guys but it was it worked really well trust me it was hot in there uh, the other day actually it was so hot we had to open up the, the back door because it was just getting it just got too hot it's either you open up the back door or yeah i'm come out here and unplug it big problem right now i have is it's actually um uh, it's blowing in some smoke through this pipe. I don't know why. I have to figure it out. Don't know why it's doing that. I think there may be some sort of backdraft problem. I just can't understand how exactly. As you can see, I came out here, I taped all this up. I'm still waiting for the mastic to come in the mail. And then I'm gonna seal this up even more. Uh, but I just don't know what's happening. Um, some sort of backdraft. And I thought that maybe I could, you know, take the take the cap off here so I took the, the the bottom cap off the chimney and then even more smoke started to billow through the the pipe into the into the back room here so there's definitely something going on there with uh, some sort of back bad draft um, uh, what I may end up doing here is putting on another another a length of pipe up there the thing I'm going to do here is take this off and see if there's any sort of leaks going on behind here. I think the fire's out by now. There may be some hot embers. 
but regardless, I'm gonna, yeah, it's still quite a bit of hot embers. I had it going this morning, and uh, it's really nice hot heat. There's just something wrong with it here, so I'm gonna try and figure this out. Okay, so I put some bracing up last night for the chimney, and I like it, it's pretty stable. There's the, I just used this part of an extension ladder that I've had kicking around, and I screwed those two two by fours to it, just on a base. And then I screw the two by fours to the wall here, to the side of the house. And I screwed these planks up there, some, some plywood, because I'm going to use that as a ledge, as a scaffolding, to put two more chimney stacks on top of that thing. And it's pretty, it's pretty sketchy, I don't know, I think it's going to be fine. I'm scared though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect them together down here like up there and then I'm going to lift both of them up at the same time and then stack it stack it on top of there these are getting uh these are a bit heavy getting close to 60 pounds that I'll have to lift about shoulder height maybe a little bit lower chest height uh while I'm standing on top of scaffolding <sighs> so definitely not having fun with this. Crawl up the ladder here, jump up there, I'm going to jump up there, I'm going to kill the Goomba, I'm going to take the, the chimney stacks and put them on top there. Don't die. Look at this. Ridiculous. <laughs> You don't think it's a good idea? I don't know if those boards are strong enough to hold you and the house. I mean, uh, and the... And the pipe? Yeah. Oh, I can do one pipe easily. I don't know if I can do two pipes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is creeping me out too much. Oh, it's just so heavy. Maybe without your gloves. You'll have better grip. Oh. I can't do it. Turn off the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I like to see you try and do this. I need a bigger ladder. You know, if I get it wrong, this, this edge is going to chop my finger off. Yeah. It off the camera! Oh, you you have control, it's not live. You get to you get to edit out anything you want. Ooh. I think I'm just gonna get up there. Oh, okay, yeah. No, oh, got it up! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> I'm going to end the video right now. There's still quite a bit that I want to get done. Uh, like I want to build a little bit of a shelter, but this is where it's at right now. Uh, the mastic did come in. That's what that gray stuff is. And I coated all the joints with it. I coated all the joints underneath this as well. So everything's really uh, airtight. Then I put the foam board on and I spray foamed and then I put a, some, a blanket of insulation and then more foam. And then this plywood with some some blocks holding it down. So it's really airtight. I, I just screwed uh, these pieces on just to hold it still. It's early morning. I just got the fire roaring. Oh, it's cooking in there. The fan just kicked on. So I want to show you guys what how uh, how cold it is inside the house. Let's see how fast it warms up. It's 19 degrees. Let in the heat. Whoa. Oh, that's 
that's nice. Get my little my little gun here, my little temperature gun. Okay. So yeah, this pipe here, 100 and 115 Celsius. 230, 240 Fahrenheit. Oh yeah, look, you put it right, oh my gosh. <laughs> it is hot. It is hot, hot heat. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's too hot. I got I got the fire really, fire is really going right now. <laughs> I don't know, that's nice. Man, oh man. Okay, so let's see how hot we can get this room. Zero, right on the dot. 32. It's pretty cold out here today. Back outside, and as you can see here in the chimney, there is no smoke coming out of there. That's what happens when you have the fire going really, really hot. It's just gonna burn all the smoke too. I think I got a little bit too hot this morning, you know? Yeah. Right there, I got a little toasty, right? So you can kind of see it where it gets hot, right around here. Put your hand there. As soon as you put your hand there, it's too hot. Maybe I'll just close the damper a little bit there. Halfway. Kind of try and get it snuffed out a little bit. I put some of this tape on as well. And you can't really, it doesn't feel very warm there. This side temperature is 54, 131. You can't tell right now because you can't see any smoke, but when you first start it, there's quite a bit of smoke and most of it does clear the roof line. There may be about 10% that goes like against the house like that. So yeah, definitely if I could get another stack on there, that'd be ideal, but uh, yeah. What, maybe someday I'll, I'll work up enough. I'll get brave enough to, uh, to put another stack up there. In the meantime, though, I'm not worried about it. I'm going to give it 15 minutes and see how high the temperature goes, and I'll give it, do another reading inside. 15 minutes, and we're now at 25 degrees, which is about 80 Fahrenheit. Not bad. I even have some old-fashioned coal. May as well burn that too. Never burned coal before. See how that, what happens with that stuff. There's the rest of my coal. <laughs> I don't know if I can find some more of that. Probably not. So I have all this flooring I'm gonna put on. I'm just hoping that I have enough for the winter. But I'll have to, like I said, I'll have to chop up some more. There's a few trees around here that I'm going to chop down and uh, cut up. And uh, they sh it may be a little bit wet, but I'm not really, I don't really care at this point. I'm going to still burn it. That is it for the video, guys. Let me know what you think. Please comment down below. Let me know what you think. Do you think I'm crazy? Do you think this is dangerous? Do you think I'm a genius? Just let me know your opinion, okay? I really appreciate it, value your opinions. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next one.